Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Kevin Gregg Show. Uh, this is a show that's here to help you refresh, rebuild, reflect, um, rejuvenate, refresh, I can't even say it right, uh, reinvent your life, uh, and just do the work that you need to do in order to fulfill God's calling for your life. I was thinking about what might be a nice new intro for it. There's some videos that I watch where I listen to some uh, priests that kind of give a little bit of a prayer. I thought maybe it's glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. That might be a good one. I like that. That might be a regular one. Anyway, um, welcome to the show. This is a recording that you guys are seeing for Monday, May 24th, 2021. My apologies for not doing the live stream this morning. Uh, it was quite a busy weekend. It was a good weekend. Uh, some good stuff happened. I'm not at liberty yet to share what that is, but I will uh, once that stuff's announced. Um, yeah, it was a good weekend, but uh, super busy. I was literally at a point last night where I was up at about one of one thirty in the morning uh, on the West Coast, and uh, yeah, I was finishing editing up uh, – some uh, Your Creative Journey podcast stuff, which had to go out. And then I was like thinking, well, maybe I can pre-record this because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do it in the time frame that I normally do, 7.30 in the morning on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So anyway, I was there, I was contemplating it, and then I thought, you know what, I am going to get a little bit of rest. I'm going to come back, record something, and then put it out there. I hope you are well. Um Things that are on my heart today. I, I, I will tell you this. This is something that was really uh, resonating for me. Um, a few things came up for me this week. Uh, I think to lightly put it is a, uh, a, a check, sort of a hard call to reality for myself. Um, and I've talked about it a couple of weeks ago with, with dealing with weight gain and exercise and all that other stuff. Um and yeah, there's there's times where you have to kind of like say, hey man, you need to get on it and get this stuff done. But I was thinking not just about exercise and food programs and all that stuff. I know that there's probably so many people in the country that are dealing with this right now as we start to return to getting back to work and getting out there. Uh, I was thinking this, when, when students return to school, the amount of <laughs> like fatigue that is probably going to happen for students and teachers as everybody gets back into the groove of thing, things. Uh, I've got my son Duncan right now has started to return partially to school, thank God. Um, now in the fall, he's not going to be, actually there's going to be a big shift for him. He'll probably, God willing, going into some sort of a work thing. But I think as people are getting back into that, okay, we're not doing partial days, but we're actually doing days where we're full days where you're showing up. For those people that have been out of the uh, loop, my God, gosh, it's going to just feel like, you know, like kids coming off of summer vacation and getting back into the grind of doing school. People are going to be worn out. But anyway, um, you know, especially as we get out of this, as people are getting out of this fog, um, I had this thought, man, which is like when you are trying to course correct and get back on track, um, and I am, I am always guilty of this. Um, I really, the voice that's inside my head, the critical voice that's inside of my head, the stuff that I say to myself, I would never say to another human being. I just wouldn't. Um, and I, I think I mean it, I don't mean this to sound soft and gooey and goopy, right? We do have to have these moments where if we are not doing something right, if we're not doing something correctly, health-wise, um, financially, right? Whether it's with um, debt and budgeting, this is a big thing that I have to contend with, which is like, do your budget, do your monthly budget, man. Stop horsing around, stop, you know, playing loosey goosey. Same thing that I've done with my food and diet and exercise, oh, you know, like the bill comes due at some point, like at some point the bill comes due. So you do have to have these reality checks, checks where you get back on board with it. But with that said, if you have a tendency for really harsh self-criticism to really take a step back and to really go, all right, I'm, I'm really not talking to myself properly and I really need, I 
really need God's voice in this equation. I need God's voice in this equation. I need Christ in this equation. I need the Holy Spirit in the equation, right? Because if we're inserting God and Christ into the equation and the Holy Spirit into the equation when we're trying to get back on track, you know, God's got hard words for us at times, but he also has loving, encouraging words for us as well to help us get back up. It's um, conviction versus condemnation, right? Condemnation is basically a tool that Satan uses, which is look at what you've done. It's too late. Uh, you'll never be able to correct stuff. What a loser you are. That type of tone. If you have that type of tone that's coming to you, it's usually condemnation. And it's usually from Satan. Conviction is the opposite. Conviction is something where it's like, all right, let's recognize what's happened. Let's recognize and own your part of what you've done wrong. And let's go. Let's get back and let's restart and let's try again and let's grow. And I think that that's where God comes from with it. So that was the thing that was just really rolling around in my mind this weekend. Because, uh, you know, the, the problem that happens with condemnation, right, is like condemnation puts you in this place where you start belittling yourself you start it's it's literally circling a drain it's circling a drain where all you start doing is thinking about how you got it wrong how you've got it wrong in the past and there's no future there's no hope you just get stuck in this this cycle of like going well i guess this is how it's always going to be and honestly that's exactly where satan wants you to be you get knocked down so many times and you just go oh what's the point I think about it specifically, man. I think about, you know, the examples that we've had from Christ. Look at Christ even on the road to Calvary, right? With falling down three times with the cross and getting back up. And even getting uh, his assignment from Cyrene that comes in to help him, you know, the last time to get the cross up. With the most unbearable weight. With exhausted and depleted and completely brutalized and walking down that road to Calvary to the most humiliating form of execution by the Roman government, crucifixion, and under the weight and all of the stuff that he dealt with. I mean, the crucifixion was already, crucifixion was already the punishment that was given, right, to prisoners. The fact was is that you were <laughs> nailed on those hands, nailed on those feet, and put up there to basically hang until you until you suffocated, right? Until everything collapsed and you just ran, you as asphyxiated, and it was public humiliation. That was the main thing. There's there's Jesus going to that, but he's already also been scourged, whipped, crown of thorns, all of this other stuff, and could have easily just ch physically chosen to stop. On the road to Calvary, on on the road to uh, on the way to Golgotha, right? Skull, the Skull Hill, right? Place of the Skull or whatever that is called. It, please let me know in the comments what it's actually is. As I'm doing this top of head extemporaneous, nice Kevin. Um, yeah, but there he is on the road to Calvary, and. Uh, even getting up again and again and again, even when he falls. Um, and that's sort of the example. Get up, keep going. Get up, keep going. Get up, keep going. Um, yeah, I think that's something that's just sort of on my heart today. Uh, I don't know if I have too much else to share. That's popping in there. I hope that you guys are well. I hope that there's more. Um, I I really had this flash last week. I want to make sure that when I'm showing up for these live streams and uh, experimental things or the videos that I'm doing where it's top of head, um, that it really has a uh, a point that it serves you 
uh, that there's something that is being said that I would want to hear myself to help me keep going. Um, and I hope that you find that it's um, helpful to you. So uh, it's not just about showing up and me just blah, just word vomiting. That's not going to help anybody. It's not going to serve anybody. So when I'm showing up for these, I'm definitely making sure that the ver- that the very base level of what's being said and what what's being talked about is something that I know that I need to be working on myself. Because um, again, that's what this practicing in public is all about. It's all about what's the thing that I'm going through dealing with um, that I'm trying to figure out the solution to and and also trying to bring God into and have to bring God into the middle of it to find the solution. And my hope is just by doing this here in this place um, that it just serves as an explanation or a, a, as an example for you guys to be able to do the same thing. So anyway, that's what's on my heart today. I should be back on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, should be back on Wednesday with live stream. And uh, apologies again for not being there Monday morning. Um, but we'll get back into the swing of things. The biggest thing here, man, is about just like the consistency and just showing up. I think that that's a number one thing for me is if I'm showing up here regularly, this is how this thing grows. This shows this show grows uh, and the conversation grows. Um as we get uh, deeper into some of the topics that I like to cover on this. Uh, Art, Christianity, business, history, uh, moving forward. So uh, that's it. Uh, You can follow me. Take a look down in the uh, description below. You can follow me on social media that's down there, those social media links. And uh, yeah, more at kevingreg.com as I keep assembling it and putting it up together. There will be opportunities for you to um, help to financially support the show. Uh, There's server costs and all this other stuff that comes as you're putting something together. Um, But whatever you can donate will be amazing. Once that is available, I will let you know. All right. So that's all I got for today. Onward and upward. God bless. And we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.